Want to run away from home to the neon world of glamorous showgirls and fantastical mega casinos? Las Vegas is the perfect playground for wide-eyed dreamers and fortune seekers. Slip behind the velvet ropes and into the private lives of some of the greatest storytellers and entertainers in the world. We are Vegas. Team Blake's country sensation from The Voice, Jess Lee. She's a lover of life and giver of encouragement. Do you have a secret talent? <laughs> Jess Lee is no stranger to pain and broken promises, as her heartfelt lyrics often tell. Kick back and enjoy tonight's interview, because nobody does it like Jess Lee. I'm Jess Lee from NBC's The Voice, and without further ado, The V.TV, and I would like to introduce my guest for the evening, world-renowned magician, Tommy Wynn. Tommy, how are you doing today? Thanks for joining how, us. How you doing, Jess Lee? Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. This is really fun. I am a huge fan of magic. Um, so when I found out that I was going to be interviewing you today, I was really excited. I was really excited to pick your brain. I'm hoping that you came prepared and at least brought yep. one trick, one trick for me. <laughs> I did. I did. I got one. Perfect. I have to admit, I did a little bit of research on you and, um, I found out that we have something kind of in common. So like my grandfather got me involved in music and got me on my path for, um, uh, pursuing my music career. Um, I, read that your grandfather kind of did the same for you with magic that's how you became interested in magic and he did well that's that's awesome that's so awesome that your grandfather did that for you as well too it's a very special thing my grandfather came over from italy in 1947 he did this one trick where he would take a quarter and rub the quarter on his arm or uh and, and then he would make it vanish as he was on his way over he started doing this trick and he would make the quarter vanish and everybody on the boat kept asking him to do it over and over again. And he said that by the time he was done and the secret to the trick, I could tell you because it's such a small trick, he would grab the quarter in a certain way where he would put it down his shirt collar. And he ended up walking off the boat with all kinds of change inside of his shirt. And he said that was his first money that he had when he came over from Italy. So he always oh pursued God. a small... Uh, more, uh, he was more of an amateur magician performing for friends and family. And then he would show me the vanishing handkerchief trick when I was just about seven years old. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. And one day he told me if I finished all my macaroni, he would teach me to do it. And I love I finished, that. That's it. Yeah. That, <laughs> he that's taught so me cute. How, it was really awesome. And he taught me how to do it. And I just started doing it for everybody. And then just anytime I got a chance to perform magic, I would do it. That's amazing that he was able to make that kind of impression on you. And, you know, at seven years old, like, I don't know if you knew at that time that you were going to be here doing magic exactly like when you are. When I was are. nine, I figured out that I wanted to be in Vegas because I saw David Copperfield. And because oh. uh, we came to Vegas on a family vacation, I saw David Copperfield perform. And I said, oh, cool. I want to be a Las Vegas magician. So That is so awesome. So that, and, you know, that's really unique, too, because not, not everybody knows at such a young age. And you just, you knew it, you took to it, you loved it. And you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it happen. You don't really know until you're really immersed in it. And it's always a, a thought. But at the same point in time, it's, it's one of those things where, because my family was in music as well, too. And uh, my father had an orchestra on the East Coast before the whole family moved out to Vegas. And uh, it was very successful. And my father's a drummer. And then, so oh. I learned how to play the drums. So I became a drummer. And then I learned how to play the harmonica and the guitar. And I learned how to play all these different instruments. And for a while, I was thinking about going into music. And then I was thinking about going into acting in Hollywood. And then my magic career started to take off. And I really, my passion really stood in magic. So I, I always said, you know, if, if I want to pursue a career in Hollywood and movies and stuff like that after I get to where I'm going in the magic field and maybe I could do that as well too and they sort of merge together because of the entertainment. masters of entertainment yeah right. and, and sort of the masters of illusion show so it, it was funny I always had that in the back of my mind so I, en I ended up being one of the one of the magicians on masters of illusion for the past seven seasons and it's funny because that was always in the back of my subconscious that I wanted to be in Hollywood performing on TV and it went hand in hand with the magic anyway. So it was pretty cool. What was the first trick that you performed on your own and 
was it to someone that you knew or someone you were comfortable with or did you just go right in and into performing and to people that you didn't know and you just wanted to you know try to try try that out well what i the first trick that i ever did was the vanishing handkerchief trick and right. i did it for my friends and family and that was the one he showed me right. and I practiced it every day. And then after I practiced that trick, when we came to Las Vegas, there was the Houdini shop out here. So after I saw David Copperfield, I realized that, hey, there's more tricks than just a vanishing handkerchief trick and, <laughs> right. you know, and, and a couple of card tricks that I had learned. Because I picked up a few magic books from seven to nine and learned some, some more magic. But what had happened was I realized, wow, this is, a, this is an industry that you could have a career in. And the biggest thing that everybody always told me as I was growing up was have a backup, have a backup, have a backup. And I said, why am I going to risk not being successful at something I don't love doing? So I never had a backup for magic. So it was always the absolute must because if I didn't make it in magic, I wasn't going to make it in anything else because I didn't have a backup. Were your parents always super supportive of this or, or did it, did it, yeah. did it, did it have to take some time for you to get a couple successes in and a couple big moments for them to kind of finally start being believers or were they were like supportive right off the jump? They were supportive from the first card trick I did. I was very blessed. Uh, it was one of those things where my parents were supportive uh, except for investment banking because they knew <laughs> that that wasn't my personality. And I said, okay. you know what? I think I might be an investment banker. And my dad and mom looked at me and said, you're not going to be <laughs> I love that. Make- How long in total have you been um, performing in Vegas? I've been performing in Vegas. It's going to be coming up on 10 years this year, over 2,000 shows on the Vegas Strip. But you put the work, you put the time, and you know, the it's, it's always, it's always, you know, even in the moments that you feel like this isn't going to get me anywhere. This is not beneficial. I'm sure you had, when you played for, or performed, I play, there's the music coming out in me. When you, pre- when you performed in, in front of four people, you were like, what am I doing? You know, and everybody, yeah. I think everybody has those moments where they're like, where, where am I going? And then, you know, and then, but you, you, those are the moments. Those are the moments that like you look back and you're like, wow, I can really appreciate where I'm at now. And every intricate part of my journey, whether it seemed like it was helping me or not, you know, it all, it all ties in together. So it's true. And, and it's, it's crazy because the, the amount of stuff that I had lined up for this year, uh, was incredible i mean we were doing we were going to be doing a show in germany uh it looked like we were doing this we were in the process of negotiating a a a show in germany uh for it was a one night huge event that would have been phenomenal if that if that would have went we didn't even get to the the point of seeing if it was was it was looked pretty good like it was going to go through and then everything (laughs) just stopped yeah (laughs) you know yeah and then you know all the gigs that i usually do with masters of illusion as well performing at the oyo so there's so much stuff so it's really easy to get negative when all that stuff just vanishes and and you have to take a moment to step back and realize like you're you're not alone in it too like i i it's feel everybody. you know i was doing my my first international shows this year i was um headlining a festival in spain and i was headlining wow. a festival in france and huge country some of the biggest country music festivals out there and we're not doing it anymore because it, that's yeah. where the most in, you know, it's, it's, it's the most in, in, invested there. So my it team is going to risk it at this point. <laughs> and, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. I had a blast with you today. Uh, it was so much fun. Thank you so much for taking the time to come chat Thanks. with me. You're an Thanks absolute you so blast. Um, yes. Where um, can we all find you? Uh, the best place to find me, my Facebook is Tommy Wind. Uh, is is just under Tommy Wind is the personal Facebook page. Uh, but most of the time, um, I post most of my show stuff and everything on Instagram, which is uh, at Tommy Wind Magic, I believe. So it's Tommy Wind. You'll find there's a picture of the Lamborghini appearance on there, and it's uh, I, I have to really learn my Instagram handle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I know my website. But, uh, <laughs> well, and, give us that too, because you probably have your shows uh, listed Tommy on there. Tommy Wind. It's Tommy Wind Magic Perfect. Perfect. Well, you can plan on seeing me at a show when I come out to Vegas. I'm going to be so excited. Hopefully, I'll get to meet you in person and shake your hand. Um, Great. That would be wonderful to meet you. You're the bomb. And guys, that is it for our We Are Vegas interview tonight. I'd like to thank magician Tommy Wind for coming and joining us once again. And if you need more Vegas, get your fix on the V.TV.